So, check this out, people. Today is Saturday. And GME and AMC are still at the same level they've been at for the past few weeks. You see no excitement on YouTube concerning these stocks. It seems like the excitement on both GME and AMC are gone. It's funny because each time I post a video concerning AMC and GME, people get triggered, right? They always seem to get mad. They always seem to get pissed. And then they leave stupid comments because I tell people to take profits. I tell people to get their money and not to believe the hype that's being told to them on YouTube by YouTubers who, while telling you to hold, sell. And nothing I'm saying is new because they know exactly what it is I'm saying. They know that everyone who sold AMC is rich. They know that everyone who sold GME is rich. And those who are holding are as poor as fuck. And they want to pretend that holding is best for everybody, right? Now, holding might be best for you, and if you want to hold to the moon and lose your house, get ahead. But for every other person who wants to get rich or get profits or get their money or earn enough money when they trade AMC and GME to go out, to go out on a vacation or whatever it is, I suggest you take profit so that you don't find yourself stuck like these mooners who are waiting for this black swan event and who keep selling you this bullshit for the past four years almost. And each time I make a video saying, listen, people, don't be stupid, don't get played. They want to come on my channel leaving stupid comments. And the fact is that those who bought into AMC at the beginning had no intentions of holding to the moon. Those who bought into GME in the beginning had no intentions on holding to the moon. That narrative became the new narrative when they saw that GME wasn't Moassing like they thought it was. That AMC wasn't going to Moass like they said it would. That's when that holding to the moon became the new narrative. That's when fighting corruption became the new narrative because nobody got into AMC and GME to fight corruption. I don't care what anybody says on YouTube, that's all bullshit. I've been here from the beginning. I was here during the first GME squeeze, AMC squeeze, Dogecoin squeeze. I was here and I heard the narrative. It was about making life changing money. It was about becoming rich and about making enough money where you can make generational wealth. And then when that didn't happen because they saw that the original squeeze had already taken place and that AMC wasn't going to blow up like they thought it was, that's when the narrative became fighting corruption. Now they started saying, oh, I don't care about the money. It's not about the money. It's about beating the one percenters. It's about fighting hedge funds. That's the bullshit they started to sell when they realized that AMC wasn't going anywhere, that the squeeze that happened originally was the squeeze and that it wasn't going to go up any higher than $74 when it did in 2021. And those that were selling you the mother of all short squeezes like Trace Trace was bullshitting you while he was trading AMC behind people's backs. And while you guys were holding GME to the moon or coming in late, because you formed in late into GME, Roaring Kitty had already sold in the millions and made his money, while you idiots were talking about the mother of all short squeezes and the black swan event that was never going to take place because you got played by other YouTubers 
who were sending you that nonsense. And when someone like me comes along and says, yo, get your money. Don't let these run-ups pass you by. I told you that GME was going to run up a couple of times and then tank and that you needed to get your profits before this hype ends because the excitement always ends on stocks. They don't continue. The problem with these mooners and these idiots on YouTube who are lying to you and those who follow them who are idiots also for believing in them is that hype only lasts for so long and once the hype is over it is over there's nothing you can do about it okay so when people are celebrating and are all excited and the party is blowing up and the music is great and the alcohol is kicked in and everybody's happy everybody's happy but then when four o'clock in the morning hits and everybody's tired and everybody's drunk and they just want to go home and sleep it's over. The excitement is over. Until the next episode. And after a while it becomes old. And the excitement dwindles. And it starts to die down. And unfortunately, the excitement for GME and AMC have died down. And if you don't believe me, just go on YouTube and type AMC. You're going to get the same idiots pumping AMC. It's going to be Lottery Stocks. Thomas James. Donnie U. George, Mikey's Money, a little boy who lives with his mother, all these scumbags cheating you and scamming you just so that they can continue to get clicks and so that the YouTube algorithm can make their channels pop up for you each time you look up AMC. And then as far as GME, there's only one asshole pumping GME. And the Marine posted a video last week, right? Or the other day, two, three, four days ago. I'm not sure when it was. But I, I watched the video and his question was, why didn't Rory Kitty jump into AMC if he's all about the movement or all about fighting corruption? Rory Kitty, Mike, the Marine, is not here to fight corruption. I don't understand why you believe that. He's not here to fight corruption. He's here to make money. He's not here to fight the system or to beat the system. He's beating the system by filling his pockets. And when you fill your pockets against the system, the system continues to go on. You don't beat the system. And that's the bullshit and the lie that these people are selling you, that they are here to fight corruption while you hold to the moon, they're selling and becoming rich. And then posting memes to get you all hyped up so that the stock can in turn spike so they can in turn sell and continue to make millions while you hold to the moon selling this bullshit about fighting corruption. That it's not about the money, it's about the cost. How many idiots out there say, hey, I'm going to give my money away. I'm just going to throw away thousands of dollars in the air. It's not about the money. It's about the cause. It's about the cause. What? Then the market, the stock market should change its name from the stock market to the cause. The cause market. Because you people out there, you fucking idiots who, who sell that bullshit about the cause, are not going to tell me that you put your house into the market for a cause, that you're willing to gamble your mortgage, your car payments, your children's college tuition for a cause. Oh, here, let me just put $30,000 towards the cause. Fuck the money. It's not about the money. It's about the cause. The, the fact is this. Those people who say that say that because they feel small, they feel humiliated, and they are embarrassed. They are embarrassed because they told their family members to buy into AMC. They sold them the bullshit that they bought, and when their family members lost it all, they began to change the narrative talking about, oh, but mom, but dad, but 
brothers, but sisters, but neighbors, is not about the money. It's about the cause. It's about the cause. So that's the narrative that they wanted to sell to those people who bought their bullshit and lost all of their life savings and have nothing to show for it. Hundreds of thousands of dollars lost, not to the market makers, not to one percenters, not to hedge funds, not to Ken Griffin, not to Citadel, but hundreds of thousands of dollars lost to YouTubers who lied to you, who scammed you, while telling you to hold to the moon, they were trading AMC GME behind your backs and getting rich off of the spikes that were being caused by novice investors who were jumping into the stock and causing it to spike. And rather than they getting their profits also, they believed the hype that AMC and GME was going to have a mother of all short squeezes. And the only one who got squeezed were those idiots who bought the nonsense. And so to the Marine, if you're watching this video, Roaring Kitty is not here to fight any cause. No one is. You got played, you got deceived, you were lied to, not by the market makers, not by the institutions, you were lied to by the scumbags on YouTube who sold you the bullshit and you bought it. You bought it. And two thirds of these scumbags aren't even on YouTube anymore. And those who are like Short the Vix, TMI, Review Dork, have changed their channels completely and are no longer pumping AFC or GME. They are simply trading it. They had to change the narrative because it was only a matter of time before people found out the scumbags that they are. And so they came to a realization that they had to move on. My question to you, Mike, why haven't you moved on from this fighting corruption nonsense? And I'm saying this and I'm asking this with all due respect because I respect you, Mike. But the fact is that you cannot expect others like Roaring Kitty or anyone else to feel the way you feel about fighting corruption in the stock market. If you can or don't understand that the market is for making money, which you made, it's not like you didn't make money in the AMC squeeze. The problem was that you didn't take your money. You didn't get your money. You didn't take your profits and when you lost it, then you started to complain about market makers, manipulation. And see, that's the problem with these scumbags on YouTube who are trying to get you to hold. They know that you could have sold and you wouldn't be fighting corruption right now, which is all bullshit, because there is no corruption to fight. AMC squeezed and you had the opportunity to get your money, not just you, but Donahue George, not just you, but everyone else who was on YouTube talking about a MOAS, a Black Swan event, because it wasn't enough that the stock had gone up some seven, eight hundred percent, a thousand percent, because AMC, when I first started watching it before it squeezed, was at a dollar fifty. And I jumped in at five dollars. And if you didn't sell when it hit seventy-four, and you lost the opportunity to get that money, it is not the market maker's fault. It has nothing to do with corruption. It has to do with you getting played, being, being taken advantage of by these YouTubers, which I have to say, you were one of those YouTubers who were calling out for the same thing, fighting corruption, who were calling out for a MOAS, a black, black swan event. And so you were taking advantage while unbeknownst to you, you were taking advantage of others by selling the same nonsense because that's how scams work. When a scam takes place and you get scammed, you get recruited to scam others without you even knowing that you've been recruited to scam others. And if you didn't sell when AMC squeezed, 
then that's your fault. It's not corruption. The opportunity was given to you. You just didn't take it. And because you didn't take it, now you want to blame those who are in power for you not saying, hey, let me, let me get my money. Let me take my profits. Trades, trades did it. That's why he's not talking about corruption. Review Dog did it. That's why he's not talking about corruption. TMI did it. All of those people who did it aren't talking about corruption in the market. None of those people are. The only ones who are talking about corruption were those who were foolish enough to believe the hype and the stupidity that there was going to be a black swan event and that there was going to be a mother of all short squeezes and that is why they did not take advantage of the squeeze that already happened and now you want to blame others talking about you're here to fight corruption. You were never here to fight corruption. You were here to make life changing money. That's what you were here for. And when you missed out on the opportunity, you lost the opportunity, then you started to change your tune. In the end, people, if you didn't sell, if you didn't take your profits, and if you didn't get your money, don't blame anybody else but yourself. And if there were others who lost money because you enticed them to jump into this nonsense corruption play, then it is your fault that they too lost their money. I want to say, people, get your money. Unfortunately, when it comes to AMC and now GME, there is no money to get.